Well, hey there, I'm Tim Tamashiro, author of How to Ikigai. If you've ever felt the urge to be happier and more fulfilled in your life, you know, there are ways that you can make it happen. The good news and the bad news, though, are the same. You are the only person that can do it. Happiness is a one-person job. Coming up, I'll show you how you can do it. Happiness, you know, is something that you have control over. You have the ability to turn up your happiness anytime you want to. You just need to know the five actions that can help you do it. In 1994, Leonard Cohen was tired of the type of life that he was living. He was 65 years old. He wanted to be happier. You see, throughout his life, he'd been challenged by religion, depression, love and politics, and the pain of isolation. So here's this amazing man who had lived the life of a rock star and a poet, and the one thing that eluded him was happiness. Leonard decided to go to the Mount Baldy Zen Center in Los Angeles. Leonard became a Buddhist monk, and over the next five years, he learned the how of happiness. Now, you don't have to become a Buddhist monk to find happiness. No, you can take the steps towards your own happiness, starting today with these five actions, courtesy of the Science of Wellbeing course taught by Dr. Lori Santos at Yale University. Now, I hope you won't be shocked to learn that a pile of money and a brand new car and a perfect body won't bring you happiness. On the contrary, according to the studies that Dr. Santos cites at Yale, the five actions that will boost your happiness are kindness, social connection, time affluence, mind control, and healthy habits, number five. Action number one is to just be kinder to people and to animals and to maybe even little creepy crawly things. One simple act of kindness releases oxytocin in your brain. Oxytocin is known as the cuddle hormone. It's the same feel good hormone that gets released in your brain when you cuddle up to someone special. Just be kind to somebody. Even just a little smile to a stranger on the street and that will give you a boost of oxytocin. The second action that releases oxytocin is connection to people. Just spending time with your friends and family is a powerful way to boost your happiness. So make plans with them. Get together. You know that it's going to be a fun time and you'll get happier as a result. Action number three, time affluence. Time affluence will help you become happier. In other words, choose to believe that your time is more important than making money. Time affluence is this wonderful concept explained by Dr. Lori Santos. She explains that when you're time affluent, it means that you have time to do all of the things that you want to do with your life. You're time rich, and that means that you choose to do the fun and rewarding stuff in life over spending more time at the office. Action number four, control your mind. Over your lifetime, you've hardwired neural pathways in your brain. Things like fears and beliefs and prejudices are part of who you are. Meditation can help you rewire your brain and help you become more and more tolerant. You can be kinder and more laid back through life as well with meditation. Action number five is unsurprisingly healthy habits. Move more and eat less. Healthy habits like exercise and watching what you eat are really good for your mind and your body and your happiness. A simple walk around the block will release endorphins in your brain that will make you feel great. You'll release stress and increase your tolerance to pain. So if you want more happiness, take a walk. So like I've said before, happiness is something that you have control over. You can turn up your happiness anytime you want to by being mindful of those five actions. Remember, they're kindness, social connection, time affluence, mind control, and healthy habits. Five. In no time, you'll feel as good as Leonard Cohen after he spent five years at that California Zen retreat. 
These are the same lessons that he learned up there on the mountain. Oh, and he also said that he learned one more important lesson. Stop whining. <laughs> That's a good one. Remember, happiness is a one-person job. It's your job, in fact. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or maybe subscribe to this channel. I'm Tim Tamashiro. Thanks for watching.